As crucial negotiations continue ahead of the end of the transition period, both Britain and the EU are still trying to secure a deal. With neither side able to reach an agreement, fears have erupted over the lack of time to prepare their countries for a no-deal outcome. Brexit News, Barnier stuns Boris with last-second change to deal, would shackle UK to EU. But yesterday, European leaders in France, Belgium and the Netherlands demanded the European Commission publish its no-deal plans. Express.co.uk has been inundated with comments from furious Brits who have believed the arrogant bloc is posturing to force the UK to capitulate in trade talks. Their outrage at the EU's plan comes after Brussels yesterday said the bloc was drawing up contingency measures in case there was no breakthrough in negotiations. A senior EU diplomat said, We must now come up with contingency measures. January 1, 2021 is getting close, we need a safety net. Of course, this sends out a political signal. But it is high time to prepare people and businesses in case we cannot fix an agreement in time. I know member states will ask to get contingency measures out into the open. Reacting, on express.co.uk reader simply said, Well, a no deal will certainly serve the UK better than the EU so go ahead. I say. A second added, the UK and the EU are not trying to secure a trade deal after months of wrangling. The EU are trying to get the UK to capitulate so that they remain under their control. The EU does not want the best for the UK, only the best for the EU. Not Europe, not the member states, just the EU project. Someone else pointed out, the EU probably don't have a plan for no deal as they arrogantly assume the UK would capitulate to their every demand as we have for years. While a fourth reader said, the EU members had time enough to prep for a no deal so if we leave with no deal it's fine by the UK. The walk can then be repudiated and we can go on our merry way without being shackled to the EU. If the EU put a border into NE then they will be effectively going against the GFA and they then will have to deploy their own EU troops to police it. Good luck with that then. Another reader said it was absolute and utter tosh. They wrote, what absolute and utter tosh, since Article 50 was notified and the supposed transitional period began running down the default position was no deal to deal on WTO terms. Both the EU and UK have had this transitional period to prepare their businesses for trading on WTO terms albeit with severe disruption to the status quo and if there was to be a deal then this would be a bonus to both sides but the point being they have had more than sufficient time to prepare their contingency, Plan A and Plan B, plans. Someone else said a no deal Brexit was always going to be the best outcome for the UK but claimed the government does not have the guts to just do it. They said, a no deal is and always going to be the best outcome for the UK. Unfortunately our government has never had the guts to just do it, we could have saved billions, be on our way to a better future, but no we have been played like a violin for over four long and very tortious years. Would someone just pull the plug on this farce called negotiations? France, Belgium and the Netherlands are believed to be the most concerned about post-Brexit fishing rights, as they have large fishing industries reliant on access to British waters. The three countries are concerned that businesses and fishing communities will be hit by economic disruption without EU contingency measures in place to minimize the effects of a no deal. Fishing remains a major sticking point in the talks, with the UK seeking to negotiate a greater share of its own waters. But the EU is determined for the status quo to remain, with French President Emmanuel Macron being particularly vocal on this matter.